welcome everyone to the Commodity Report for the 22nd of July 2022 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So following on from Tuesday's report, as predicted, the European Central Bank announcement on Thursday saw the European Central Bank increase their rates by 50 basis points, exactly as we outlined to you on Tuesday's report. And with that, gold had a slingshot move higher. In fact, we had a 400 point breakout from 1,680 US dollars per ounce up to 1,720 US dollars per ounce, which alongside oil this week, where we caught fast breakouts at the beginning of the week, enabled us in total this week to bank over 1,200 points with our clients at the Gold and Silver Club. Now, gold we detailed with you on Tuesday's report, opportunities to be buying into gold sub 1,700 US dollars per ounce with the potential to dip down towards the 1690, but our expectation would be that we would get back towards that 1720 to 1725 handle within the next few sessions. And of course, we saw all of that play out in a single move to the upside off the back of the European Central Bank announcement. So I hope that many of you capitalized on those very fast gains. As we've mentioned before, it really is a trader's market at the moment. Be nimble, make sure you're quickly snipering into these moves. Take advantage of the fast volatility. We banked further profits on gold yesterday, just before the close, we broke out all the way back up towards the swing highs after a 400 point breakout to the upside. So I hope that many of you capitalized on that. In case you missed Tuesday's report, here is us going through that exact playbook in detail with you and our expectations as well for the European Central Bank to increase rates by 50 basis points and the impact that that would also have on gold and the opportunities to be buying in at the lower end of the ranges. We have the European Central Bank announcement scheduled on Thursday. The expectation here is that we're going to see a 50 basis point increase in interest rates, which will be the first time in a number of years that the European Central Bank has increased their interest rates if you go over to gold at the moment, so gold, we keep seeing retest back towards the 1700 level. I would perceive buy opportunities again this week at 1700 or lower. I definitely can't rule out a revisit back down towards the 1690 level. So far, we are holding up above the 1700 level. We have accumulated positions at the lower end of the ranges here. And I'm looking for a bounce back towards that 1725, 1735 handle. Again, just be very quick and nimble when we do get these breakouts to the upside, offers you opportunities to sniper in nice and low and bank very quickly. So with that, again, I hope that many of you have capitalized on that slingshot move higher that we have seen for the metals. Not only have we seen breakouts on gold, this week we've also seen copper prices and platinum prices up 3% on the week. We detailed out this with you as well on the week ahead commodity report, hedge funds and money managers in particular had added to their overall net long positions in the last week with both copper and also oil, which was very notable. And with that, copper prices, they've surged over 3%. Oil prices this week, they broke out over 7%. The star this week has been natural gas prices breaking out over 12% to the upside. In fact, natural gas prices are now up over 30% over the course of this month as we've continued to see capital flow in to many commodities after the recent pullbacks, we're now starting to see those slingshot moves higher, an ability for you to sniper in nice and low and then capitalize on these breakouts to the upside. All of this very predictable, the whole playbook that we keep seeing time and time again into a central bank increase interest rates even more than expected, which we've seen so far in the last week from the European Central Bank announcement, from the Bank of Canada as well, which surprised the markets with a 100 basis point increase in interest rates. And of course, the Federal Reserve, which surprised the markets too, with a 75 basis point increase in interest rates. We've seen it around the world with over 60 central banks in a rush to increase rates to try and tame inflation. And with that is providing you amazing opportunities to trade commodities. Each time in the lead up to these major announcements, we are seeing a predictable pullback in commodities, which offers you an opportunity to sniper in nice and low, very much like we saw off the European Central Bank announcement yesterday. And that enables you to again, trade these markets. It's not a buy and hold market at the moment. It's very much a trader's market. If you just buy and hold, you end up getting crushed and you won't make any money at all. If you're not making money at the moment in these markets, you absolutely should be. We've detailed out for you over the course of this week, very straightforward opportunity on gold to be buying in at 1700 down to 1690. Gold right now is trading at 1719 US dollars per ounce. So again, I hope that many of you have capitalized on that move. 
Now, as we go into next week, of course, the next major news item to be aware of is the FOMC statement. So this is where the Federal Reserve are also scheduled to go ahead and increase interest rates as well. The expectation at the moment is 75 basis point increase, although some are speculating that the Fed will follow in the footsteps of the Bank of Canada with a 100 point increase in rates. So with that, this is going to create, again, massive volatility next week on Wednesday for you to capitalize on. So with that, this, of course, is where you want to be utilizing a data-driven approach to the market. Ditch those gimmicky indicators or outdated technical analysis methods in the market because they do not work. In these market conditions, it's about macroeconomics, research, data-driven trading, statistics, and market intelligence. This is where you want to learn and understand the capital flows in the market, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycle for each commodity. Alongside that, the intermarket correlations in the market, the ratios, the key areas of liquidity, the capital flows in the market, and align that as well with how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioned. And of course, align that with the fundamentals, the macroeconomics and the geopolitics. And that will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research-driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.